the morning we've all been waiting for. Drum roll. We finally get to find out if Jenny and Kelly had any paranormal encounters. Remember, they were at the Athenaeum in downtown Indy overnight, and now they're there by themselves. Oh, I think they're scared more now than they were overnight when all those people were there. They went on a ghost tour with over 50 ghost hunters, and now we want to check in to see how it went and to see if they had anything crazy happen. Guys? I think we're crazy right now because, like you said, everyone's left except for us. And what do we decide to do? Let's go up to Grandma's attic, the <laughs> scariest place on the whole ghost hunt. And we just heard something. And we forgot our headlamps. <laughs> what are we thinking? We're freaking out a little bit right now because this has been the area where everybody wanted to come up and spend some right. time and actually waited for about 30 minutes before I got to come in here. And, right. you know, we didn't really feel a whole lot, but since we've been in here right now, the last five minutes, we heard something. Well, I w we did hear something just a moment ago. <laughs> really I think good. it might have been a bird outside. This is the attic. Basically, this is we're above the theater right now. This was the old space where the costuming department was. And it's known as a very haunted space where people have had a lot of encounters. Um, this is actually where I had my most interesting moment of the overnight. Oh, really? Using those dousing rods mm -hmm. that we talked about. Um, we started asking questions about Dr. Helene Kanabe, the doctor who was murdered a little ways down and who worked here. And they were moving with, I was not moving them. You know, I was very <laughs> sure, because I'm a skeptic, so I was like, I am just standing here and asking questions. They moved on their own, and the answers were correct. Right, so, they're yes, no questions. So right. like, when they cross <laughs> over, then they're saying yes, when they come straight up, or however you no. tell them. Yeah. And so it's like, but we know the history, right. so some of those... It was interesting. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Yeah. Super weird. But um, there were 50 people with us overnight, so we'll show you some video of um, one of my favorite groups who was actually up here in the attic with me. They're called the Hot Flash Honeys, <laughs> which is the <laughs> cutest name. Um, they're women who are like, uh, you know, they've been friends for a really long time. They all had purple shirts on with, with their names on them. They said, you know what, we're too old to ride roller coasters anymore, so this is our adrenaline rush. And they had a ton of fun. And uh, we talked to some other folks about what they experienced and what they heard while on this ghost hunt. So take a listen. I was getting toward the end of an EVP session. I said, I'm going to count to 10, and I'm going to turn it off. And as I said that, his ghost app popped up the word 10. And they weren't even in the same area. And there were also 10 people together up on um, the balcony right here and on the stage together. There were 10 people. We were upstairs in the what, studio, and basically yeah, um, they had a spirit box, and it called out my name. Real clear as day, they said. <sighs> Which I didn't hear it, thank goodness, because I was probably running out the door. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> Which is exactly why we wore our tennis shoes, just in case we needed to run out the door, and why we worked out yesterday right. in case we needed to run out the door. One interesting thing that happened, I don't know if I told you about this, Kelly, one of the guys told me that while they were up here in Grandma's attic, which you could tell is very narrow, it's very cold, there's not much space here, they said the door closed and locked on them. Oh! Yeah. I, I better not have a I didn't here. see it, so I can't <laughs> prove that it's true, but I have no reason to think he would lie, but uh, it's scary up here, so <laughs> we're going to go downstairs and out of here. And gain oh, our guess what? I'm going to ask you right. another question here. to keep you up there. Okay. <laughs> If oh, people thanks. miss this, Jenny, because it does look like a great experience, when can they check it out again? Because it was sold out. Yeah. Yeah, it was sold out for this particular one. And again, it is fun, even if you're a skeptic like we are, and even if, you know, you don't see anything big, it's a fun bonding experience, certainly, to go as a group of friends. So the next one is coming up in May, and the Athenaeum Foundation will list the exact dates and times and ticket prices and everything on their website soon. And I believe they're also going to have another one in October, because why not? Halloween, right. it makes yeah. sense. That makes yeah. sense. Um, but again, all the money goes toward the Athenaeum Foundation and preserving this beautiful building. So even better. Win, 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 win. Yes, exactly, Kelly. And now, girls, go get your headlamps, <laughs> and we'll see you in about 30 minutes, uh, yeah. hopefully. Bye. See Bye. Peace.